Since the battle were evicted from the forests of Bwindi and Mgahinga in 1991, their lives have been largely dependent on aid from non-governmental organizations. The community of 6,700 people was displaced to various parts of the country and the 2014 census reveals that the battle population has reduced significantly. Scores of them were recruited by Uganda Wildlife Authority as entertainers and gorilla trackers for tourists. After a long period of cooperation, government has finally paid the Batwa by purchasing for them two pieces of land totaling to 7.5 acres, which are meant to be used for development projects. The Minister for Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Ephraim Kamuntu, handed over the land located in the villages of Musana and Nyagachenche to the 36 Batwa who work with Ua in Chisoro district. While handing over the land documents, Kamuntu urged the Batwa to develop the land for monetary gains. Today. We have given you land. This land must be cultivated, must be used to generate income, cash income. And it should be done as a company, not as individuals, because fragmentation makes your land useless. More projects are on their way. Government is going to bring more projects to the Batwa people because of the contribution they are making in preservation of culture, in diversification of tourism products and indeed in become being protectors of God's creation. Batwa leader Chakabinji Hagumimana said that they intend to change their lives with the projects that they are planning to put on the land. The land given out will only benefit the 36 Batwa, leaving out hundreds of others who are still landless and jobless. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.